The Abu Sheikh family built their shack entirely with material from the rubble of their demolished home. The family spent the last week of the war in a United Nations school turned makeshift shelter. But they were forced to leave to vacate the school so that classes could resume. Mukarram Abu Sheikh is in a state of shock. She showed us her new home where she now lives with her husband and her seven children. We don't have anyone from Hamas here. There are no Hamas leaders in the neighborhood. These are the homes for simple people. Many of them didn't even have jobs. My husband used to work just to put bread on the table every day. We didn't expect this. When I saw the destruction, I almost became unconscious. People are only beginning to process the full extent of what happened. The UN estimates that the damage from Israel's air, ground and sea offensive is close to two billion dollars. People's properties and belongings, much of it damaged beyond recognition. Six people lived in the house that used to stand here. And as you can see, this is really all that remains of it. If you just take a quick peek, um, this, I think this was a backpack for a student. And this is a pair of shoes for a lady. And uh, this is a blanket. The war may be over, but it will take people a long time just to rebuild their lives. Everywhere you go in Gaza, people will tell you that they were promised help. Help that they are still waiting for. We were told that we would get support. We would get houses. We are refugees, and we were told that the UN and the government will help us. When they asked us to leave the school, the UN and the Red Cross said they will give us another shelter. All promises. Nothing happened on the ground. Left to their own devices, the Abu Sheikhs and their neighbors say they have no choice but to get on with their lives. Zain Awad, Al Jazeera, Gaza City.